has been formed. We have no idea if he's wrong. Drop. to eat pumpkins so this is going to be great fun. No. Wish me luck. Get out. Get out of it. Okay. So I'm just going to start because mum's just getting prepped now. I have three emptied Bruno, my pumpkin, and I've drawn on, drawn on Jack, oh. <laughs> drawn on? drawn on Jack's face and I have drawn Sally on here you probably won't even be able to see it from here to be fair and I've emptied her out is Bruno helping us today do you think uh, Mama's going to do a Vinny. cat called Vinny <sighs> so yes everyone you've briefly met my mother but here she is hello this is Mama Bear and um going to be watching an extremely entertaining video of us carving pumpkins. I don't even know where to start with this, I'm terrified. Start with the hair. I'm thinking I'm going to do all the little bits first because yeah. it's going to be harder for me to... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first incision has been made. Ooh, exciting. I was wondering how long it would be until he started growling. So I thought, guys, that I'd ask Mama some questions while we do this so we actually have something to talk about rather than sitting here in silence. So, okay. first question, what's my best quality? Your artistic talent. What's my worst quality? Um, um, rather than habit. Yes, stubbornness. Stubborn? Yes, you can be quite stubborn and opinionated. I'm not that opinionated. No, you're not really. I'm pretty chill. You are. You can be moody. Oh, well, I also can. I get that from you though. Yeah, true. So you can't blame me for that. I get it. It's all from you, Mama. That is very true. I don't know where she's going now. She keeps disappearing on me. Do you? Getting in the way, as always. Of course he is. Um, another question. What, so a memory that includes me, or is probably centred around me, the best one? Everything's centred around you, Mama. I don't know it's obviously. Duh. <laughs> But like, so like something that you remember that you'll never ever ever forget. But like the best thing. Oh, but when you were little, we went somewhere to a shopping centre, and the very first time you went through an automatic door, you go, "Look, mummy, an, an atomic door. It's an atomic one." <laughs> no, but no, um, but it's not atomic. It's automatic. Yeah, atomic. I used to do uh, crunches as well as the crutches. Yeah. You can say crunchies, you say crunchies. I want, I want, I want some crunchies, Mum. Okay, okay. Bruno, go and lie down. Um, okay, the worst memory that you'll have. Oh, God. When your dad was teaching you to ride your bike when we lived in Colchester and you went flying into a metal fence and and you cut your... You still got, got a scar. scar yeah. You cut your lip and it bled and it bled and it bled. And what about in Safeways? Oh, God, that was even worse. That probably was my worst memory when your dad phoned me and told me that you'd had an accident and you'd knocked your teeth out. Two front, front teeth. Yep, not just one tooth, but two. And um, they oh, never found one of them. There was loads of blood all over the place. I think I was only six, but I remember it so well. There was blood everywhere, gushing from my mouth. And I remember all I could hear was one of the store employees saying, oh, well, someone shut that screaming child up. Little did they know I was down on bloody aisle, whatever, with blood all over me, just gushing from my mouth. Dad's there, like, hysterical, because he just didn't know what to do. And it was the first time that he'd taken me out on his own in a while, wasn't it? Yeah. Because my dad was in the army, so... He was away a lot. He was away a lot, so it was probably the first time that he took me out by himself and 
I ended up in hospital. <laughs> Is it eating the pumpkin out there? I know. Sharpie on it. What was I like as a kid, Ma? You're a good kid. You're pretty poorly when you were really little. You used to scream the house down all the time. Apart from that, though, you could get quite popular. I can see you. You're not being sly, you know. I'm not feeling amazing about Sally right now, but do you know what? You're fine. It will be fine. It will be fine. Stop licking the tools, Bruno. It's an art. You know? Like, it's very complex, this pumpkin color. And you never know what it truly looks like until it's dark and you've got a candle inside anyway, so it might be amazing. Who knows? Really looking forward to doing Jack Skellington's mouth. Can't wait for that. And as you can see, Mum still hasn't started carving out her pumpkin, let alone carving the face onto it. I actually like cracking the pumpkin. Not great, not great, but you know what? A lot of people do like really, really, really good, detailed fucking pumpkins and get it all right. Well, it's not good. I don't know if you can see, but this is my template for Vinny, which I'm going to attempt. My first ever try at this one. I've never done this one before. So, fingers crossed. I'm having a right mare, Mum. We're having a mare. Is it a right mare before Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Boom, oh, <coughs> boom! Um, it might as well for convenience, because it never gets old, does it? Well, I'm done carving this one. Oh yeah, that was quick. So I'm going to clean her up and let's have a look at her. Bruno, I wish you wouldn't eat everything. Like, actually everything. Bruno, she's been in the kitchen eating carrots. Bruno, he's just eating a fucking eyeball. Oh no. He's just eating her pupil. Bruno. Naughty. <laughs> you can't get it back now, can you? Wait, is that it? You might have just licked it out. Oh, I think we've got it. Oh, I good. Think we've got oh, it. Good. You've got a bowl there full of pumpkin that may or may not be toxic but at this point. Do you know what? Let it be toxic. Please eat my fucking Sally. You just seen what I went through doing this. And you're still going to go and shove your tongue in it. Um, so, Looking good then. three things about me that no one else would know. Oh, God. That's difficult because you tell everyone everything. I don't. I think I'm actually relatively closed off. Don't tell everyone everything. You tell me everything. But yeah. Uh, I don't know. What would you like me to say? I don't know. I'm just kind of curious to see what you say, to be honest. It's hard one, that. That you were born very, very poorly. I think I use that as an excuse at every early opportunity that I get. Did you know? That you I can't born. do this because I had a heart murmur. It wasn't just that you had a heart murmur, there was other problems wrong with you. It wasn't just a heart murmur. Tell me more, I might be able to use it as an excuse to get a plug. You were born with a hole in your stomach, a hole in your heart, a hole in your intestines. You had a lot of holes. I don't know, how old did I get to this point? You were holes for a tiny baby, you were only five pounds when you were born. Teeny tiny. Now look at me. So it's just thought, eh? So three things then, a hole in your stomach, a hole in your tail, <laughs> three things that people didn't know about you. And you were only five pound when you were born. Two bags of sugar and a bit. Uh, what about, what else can I ask? God, I've got such a runny nose. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit cold. I was thinking about putting the fire on. Will I tip the fire? That might be an all right idea, that mama. Right, Jack better not let me down as much as Sally did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, I felt that. <laughs> I felt it. Okay, I'm all right. Stop it. There's not even like a scratch or anything. It's just a line of orange where the pumpkin is. No. Just tattooed myself with pumpkin. 
you know what? I'm just gonna give up on him now. Because it's just, every time I look, he's licking the eyeball of Sally. Honestly, such a weirdo. Like and comment if your dog eats pumpkin. So does pumpkin know this dog will eat literally absolutely any bunny thing. He just likes food. Food orientated, food obsessed. Bruno, you need to be out the way now for this part because I'm cutting shit with an actual knife. Bruno, go lie down. Go on. Look at him. He's got a fucking bag now. This is lovely. This is my favourite part. Do you think it's really weird how people do this? Yeah. One day someone just woke up and thought, I'm going to go and get pumpkin and I'm going to scoop everything out of it and I'm going to carve a scary face on it. Yeah. And don't you think it's strange because it's a predominantly American hol holiday? We're doing it right now. Why should it be predominantly American? Why should they get all the fun? We've been doing it for centuries as well. They don't have the monopoly on fun, these Americans, you know. As Brits, pretty fun too. I sense he is better than us. Say so. Mm -hmm. I like Americans. In fact, one of our nephews is married to an American. She's a very nice girl. But they don't have a monopoly on fun. That's the typical, typical middle-aged thing to do is, don't get me wrong, I know one of those. I don't have an issue with any of them. I don't. I used to work with a few American people. They are a good laugh. They are. But the sense of humour is not quite like it was. I think it's not the sense of humour, typically. It's um, sarcasm. Yeah. Let's give you some They don't get our sar sarcasm. Sorry, but... Well, imagine when I was at uni, I dated an American guy for a little bit, the poor sod. Didn't know where we were coming or going. I'm not surprised. God, I hate this bit. It makes me feel really icky. Yeah, I don't like that bit. I've never liked getting my hands dirty though, have I? No, to be fair. When we were little, you used to come running in if you got your hands dirty. Um, oh, what's the funniest thing I've ever done? through a really cold patch right now we're like freezing cold but the sun's blaring so um, yeah we're all cold all the time welcome to England it's great can't quite get this to be completely empty <laughs> my hands are too slimy to pick up the pumpkin <laughs> how's it looking so far it looks cute I still can't believe we've not even started emptying it out you're gonna be there for years mum it's gonna be really good when it's done though. I hope so. It will. It will, it will. Right. What do you think, people? Looking good? I think I've pretty much got Jack hollowed out now, so I'm gonna start carving him. I'm gonna start with the mouth because it's grim to even think about what I'm about to go through with this. No, Bruno. Bruno, come on, lie down. See, so naughty. You're in a little face. There's nothing left on it though, dog, so. Don't kick Sally. Pumpkin King will come for you, dog. Yes, so I'm starting with the mouth, but I'm scared, so... Bruno, what was that? It's got one of the fucking sponges. Seriously, dog, you're a walking health hazard. It's like, hell yeah. No, no. No. Here, what's this? Have some pumpkin. That's it, no, go on. Meow. Just hurt myself again. Ooh, I'm thinking about, because I'm at work till six tomorrow, I'm thinking about asking me that if I did empires. 
for tea tomorrow, maybe pie and chips or something for tea. Bruno, it's got a pen on it. I've got the new potatoes, and they've got tinged new potatoes, and they're interesting. Oh, they're bollocks. Bollocks. What's that? Just destroying my life's work. There they are, my bitches. Love Bruno. My camera is about to die, so I'm gonna go now, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll come back in with a clip of my mums later and I'll put in a clip of them both all lit up, lit up in the dark. And also I did do another one yesterday of the boogeyman, but I gave that to my nana because she can't do it herself because she had some surgery under her arms. So she can't do much like that. And I don't think she knows how to carve a pumpkin. Anyway, so I'll insert a pic of the boogeyman and I'll insert a couple of pics or clips of these and Mama's pumpkin of Vinny when she does it. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it and have a really lovely Halloween. And any night, if you're not watching this anywhere near Halloween, because I probably won't have edited it by then. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>